show everybody you're filming in your underpants on your vlog. Yes. <laughs> I'm in my underpants. Fair Don't well. worry, I didn't get my uh, bacon and sausage in the shot. Folks, it is Friday. I am in my underpants. It is nine o'clock. The kids aren't at school today, but there is a parent's evening in the morning. Strange, I know. So Gemma's just taking Abigail to that. I'm going to stop here with Dominic until they come back and I'm going to have some breakfast. I urge you all to join Urban Chicken and Mr Darren Shaw in the Friday Egg Club. Links down below. And of course the first rule of Friday Egg Club is tell everybody about Friday Egg Club. Scruffy bastards. I get sick to death of it every day. We come in and there's a rubbish bag on the floor or something at the side of the bin. And the bin's not even full, there's loads of room in the bin. Okay, with that rant over, what I'm gonna try and do this morning is see if we can't polish up the welds on these cones. So I've just hit this with the flapper disc, the 80 grit sanding disc, and now I've put on one of the polishing discs from this Dronco polishing buffing set. This is the course wheel. We've got the fine one there. And then over on the table, we have uh, a buffing wheel and two compounds. Right, that's the first pass with the course buffing wheel. It's a heck of a lot shinier than it was. Second pass, it looks pretty much the same to me, but you'll be able to tell better on camera. So before I proceed on to buffing it up, I'll just show you the discs that come with this, this Dronco five piece polishing set, shet, from uh, Tool Station. So you get a coarse disc, which is like a coarse uh, scotch bright pad, and then a fine disc, and then this is like a foam disc, this is much softer. And then you get these two polishing compounds, you use the white one first and then the blue. So this is the first time I've used these, let's give them a go. Right, that's after the first buff. I'm assuming you can see the difference in that. And the final pass with the blue polishing compound. I mean, it's not quite a mirror finish. I can see the scratches caused by the initial sanding, the 80 grit. Like I say, I wish I had something like a 240. Maybe I'll have a look around, shop around for some of those. And there she is. So, honest opinion, my final thoughts are, unless you have to do it, like I have to on this, don't bother. It's a lot of time and expense wasted, I think. But unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to polish on the inside of these because this weld ain't gonna be suitable like that. Now, I'm looking at it and you can see it's managed to trap, or can you see? It's managed to trap a lot of the polishing compound in the edge. So I'm left with no choice but to revisit this. Whether that means reflowing or grinding, it's back to the drawing board because I want it to be uniform all the way down there. Much to the dissatisfaction of my back, I went back in and I revisited the weld. There she is. That is the weld, folks. I think we've cracked it, don't you? Can you see it? You can just about see it. There's a few dimples and pimples here and there, particularly up at the top. But, looking at it realistically, that's better, right? Way better. So, uh, am I going to do that to both of them? Probably not. I think I might just hit it with a polishing compound and skip the sanding wheel, because that seems to have been what's put the most scratches in it. But even that descaled edge is actually good enough. I might just do the weld. Now, I am a seasoned veteran when it comes to using power tools but 
they can still catch you out, right? So I'm using the buffing wheel, this one here on the grinder, and it's a foam pad. And uh, I've just come to the edge of the cone, and all these ridges here, if you're on the wrong side, they will catch the edge of the cone and throw it off. You have to make sure the direction of the grinding wheel is going off of the edge and not onto the edge. So I was grinding onto the edge and it threw the grinder, hit me in the stomach and totally ripped my pocket off. Look at that. Could have been your face if you was like in a confined space. Done some real damage. Let's rip the pocket off completely. <laughs> it's a good job it's a scruffy old work coat, but wow. And it, so I ragged it out off of my pocket and it starts spinning again. <laughs> Bar me, it didn't cut out or anything. Well, that's one way to find out what's in the bottom of your pocket. Oh, look. Split washer, I'll save that. I had all my PPE on, glasses, gloves, earmuffs, and a big old rough ass jacket. It's one of the reasons why we wear all of the safety equipment but it can still catch you out. So take care out there, folks. <laughs> Fortunately, I have all my fingers after that wee incident, and this is the resulting polish. Again, that's another one. What do you think? I mean, it's difficult to see with the light just gleaming. There, there it was. So can you tell where the weld was? Well, it was actually just here, believe it or not. The weld runs up there, look. Ah, oh, you can see it just about on that angle. And that is the weld there, uh, not this bit. Outside. What's yeah. the balls welding back on? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that cold, buddy. No, well, um, no, it's not, no. <laughs> How are you doing, all right? I'm very well, how are you? You recovered yet? Oh, getting there, getting there. Still got another week to go off, so. Good man. But, uh, <coughs> I thought I'd come in. <coughs> See how you're doing. Oh, we're doing all right. Well, that looks well. It was messy um, because the fit up was terrible. Yeah. So there's a lot of holes needed filling in yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I managed to buff and polish. That's that's come up pretty well. That that's come up pretty well. Right. Well, they know you're here, so uh, oh, I'm zoomed right in on your face, mate. Oh, scary! <laughs> Scared everybody that. <laughs> I'm getting there, mate. I'm getting there. Uh, do it in the iron tree. Uh, in the iron tree. Oh, yeah. Uh, He's got some goodies. Scoop. Oh, man, it's cold. What are you doing? Get it. Where's your football, Chance? Go, get it. Where's your ball? Get your ball. Get your ball. He knows where it is. What, what goodies have you brought them, buddy? <laughs> Buddy's got some goodies. Holy! Baby. Hey, that's last time Village Churchill leave its doors unlocked, <laughs> isn't it, mate? <laughs> oh yes. Last oh, orders yeah. at the bar. Hey, do you know what that is? Bell end. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh, it gets worse. £100 for everything? Yeah. There's other stuff, but it would have just been joint. There was like other stools that needed to fix them. What's this then? Game board. Game board, that's for domino, one for cards. Are you taking it all off? Yeah. Right up. Uh, where does the Chuff me! Yeah. Where does the chuff me? Where does the chuff me?
that's it now, I've had a crafty pint, I'm going to have to remove all my fingers with a slitting disc. <laughs> I'll stand there and watch you laugh. <laughs> Yeah, lid that wants to go that way. Do we need to put, grab a tool off at the side and... No, I need it. Oh, you want some glove What? I'm going to say, if you've got like a thin flat blade screwdriver, you could put it in Prize there. Prize it, yeah. Prize yeah. it around. Little girls, little girls cry. tacked up folks we've got one tank looking pretty smart big big thanks to froggy for wrestling this on with me the man is an absolute star and he will be pleased to know I've sorted out the switch on the TIG mate yeah you like that it was the switch wasn't wired up right my suspicions and then what I went and did was to carry on tacking the tank just like we were doing but I'd left the settings for the ramp up and ramp down as they were three second ramp up three second ramp down which meant I couldn't turn the torch off my friend which meant I burnt a hole into her but I'm sure I can fix that so now I'm gonna go home with Gemma and the kids I'm gonna get changed and I'm coming into town to meet Mr. David French the North Nottinghamshire branch camera chairman. He wants to speak to me about something. Miraculously got changed into some whites and we're going to go down to the pub. I'm hoping we've won pub of the year. I don't think we have, I don't want to jinx it. It's a close run thing with the Mallard in workshop. But I feel we may be having a sneak peek, an insider's glimpse into the results of this year's voting. Fingers crossed. Oh.